This segment of Scent Blocker Most Wanted is brought to you by the Whitetail Institute of North America. Deer nutrition is all we do. And by S4 Gear, meeting the demands of nature and those who tame it. The sneak preview edition of Most Wanted keeps rolling along. We just saw our good friend Doug Clunder take a nice bull elk in Colorado. Scott was there, and by the next day, Larry had him on a bull too. Doug and Scott took their Colorado bulls. The only thing left for the most wanted crew was about three months of whitetails. And it all started in October at Timber Ghost Ranch. Hey, we're at Timber Ghost Ranch and we're having a blast. The weather has changed and the wind is blowing like crazy, but the deer are still moving. We're overlooking a great big Whitetail Institute food plot here of White Clover. Down at the end there's a big deer out already, a doe just went past us. You can hear some turkeys off here in the background. It's about to happen, we have about two hours to dark, and we're in a good spot here where deer travel past us. If we get a chance, we're going to be shooting straight out here in the open. Let's see what happens. that deer hole, my word. It's incredible. Absolutely incredible, man. While we're at Timber Ghost, let's take a look at a new segment of the show we're calling Rack Focus. We've assembled a group of industry professionals to discuss and debate some of the most pressing questions and controversial topics facing hunters today. This is a diverse group of leaders from the hunting industry. Scott Schultz from Scentblocker. From Browning, Scott Grant. Joel Maxfield from Matthews Bows. Steve Scott from Whitetail Institute. And Mike Hines of Timber Ghost. This is unscripted, genuine discussion from guys that have strong opinions and aren't afraid to speak their mind. Keep an eye out in the weeks to come for each new session of Rack Focus. This past year was a rough time for deer in the central U.S. The historic drought that lasted throughout summer and into the fall brought on severe outbreaks of hemorrhagic fever. This was a devastating blow to herds that were already finding food and water in short supply. 
Like many of you, this had a dramatic effect on our deer season. Bucks that we had been watching from late spring just disappeared. But by mid-November, Larry was able to put all those hours in the stand behind him and put his Matthews to good use on a Pike County buck. Trinity. Scent Blocker Trinity. And it sure worked tonight. Scent Blocker Most Wanted has been brought to you by IQ. Center the dot for the perfect shot. Block Black. It's one tough target. And by Glenn Dell. The biggest and toughest 3D targets in the universe. Scent Blocker Most Wanted has been brought to you by Winchester Rifles and Shotguns. Trust your hunt to a Winchester. Easton, expect the best. Ford, and your quality Ford dealers. The redemption muzzle loader from LHR Sporting Arms. Made for a lifetime, not for a season. And by Gilbris Taxidermy, the official taxidermist of Scent Blocker Most Wanted. The sneak peek edition of Most Wanted is coming to a close, but we have one more for you before we go. During the late Illinois gun season, Bob had a chance to take our favorite new muzzle loader out to the farm. His most wanted was showing up on cuttybacks all over the southern ridge. But after three days without a sight, Bob changed the game plan. He took his LHR redemption to a makeshift ground blind at the edge of a food plot that had been planted in Whitetail Institute's Imperial Clover. Temperatures are starting to drop, thermals are coming downhill. I haven't seen anything yet. trail cam and Larry kept saying there's one in there it's got triple eye guards triple eye guard yeah look at that huge huge bases 
split brow time, just a good clean 10 pointer. Mature buck, got pictures of this guy for the last couple years. Whew. Holy smoke. You know, when we came in here, as I said, we didn't have a tree stand set up on it. The wind, I knew, would drop thermals down. We'd get on the other end of the field, it was only gonna be a 110, 115 yard shot. And it's amazing when a plan comes together. You know, this is gonna give me an opportunity to go into the studio next week when we get back in town and take this guy off our most wanted list. I hope you enjoyed our preview edition. There's a whole lot more awesome hunting action coming up this season, so make sure you tune in every week. For the rest of the Most Wanted crew, I'm Lauren Thomas, and thanks for watching Scent Blocker Most Wanted.